Zach, congratulations on your uh, extended contract. How pleased are you to know that you've got another year and a half now here to develop your football? Yeah, um, I'm delighted to have been offered. Obviously, it takes a lot of pressure off me now at the end of the season where I would have been offered or not offered. Um, I can now just get my head down and get on with the game the rest of this season and hope for the best and try to get a run in the team now. Yeah, the manager's obviously been pleased with what he's seen of you so far in the last three weeks. What's he said to you about what, what he expects from you and why, why he's offered you that deal? Um, he's told me a lot about working on my defensive side of the game, which is understandable. Obviously, I like to attack more than I do defend. Um, he just said that I need to work on that and then there would be a chance for me to get in the team. So that's what I'm going to do on the training ground. I'm going to work on my defensive side of the game with the help of the gaffer and the assistant Rob and then see what happens over the next few weeks. Yeah, it must have been great news for you when you saw that this manager prefers 4-4-2 because the, the old formation, it did work well at the start of the season but it, didn't really, it wasn't really good news for the wide players on the team, was it? 3-5-2 uh, didn't work for me because obviously there's no wingers involved. Uh, when this gaffer come in and said he likes to play 4-4-2, um, I was very happy and um, obviously I hope for a chance in the team and he's gave me that so I'm happy, um, he's, he's played me a lot and now I can get my head down and try to get a run in the team. Yeah, you've been at Cheltenham since you are about eight, eight or nine years old so it's a long time coming through the ranks and do you see this as now the time you need to establish yourself you know, after being fast tracked through from the youth team a year early? Um, yeah, obviously it's good to see a young boy come through, a local lad as well. Um, I tried to establish myself last season by making a few appearances, um, but this season, now I've got a goal as well. Hopefully I can get in that team and uh, get my head down and carry on. Yeah, you mentioned the goal there, I was going to ask you about it. I mean, it's a great first goal for Cheltenham Town for you, one you'll probably never forget. Yeah, um, I was happy with the goal. But more importantly, we got a draw, and that's, that's the main thing. It's, it's a team game, not an individual. So the draw was the main thing, but obviously I was delighted with the goal, yeah. Yeah, have you watched it back a few times? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched it a couple of times, I have to say. Um, yeah, but that's, that's about it. Yeah, and the manager knows what you can do going forward. He's seen the, you know, with the goal and in training what you can do. So is that defensive side of it something, is that your priority now, just to make sure you can show him you can do that? Yeah, that's what he said to me. He said he likes the way I attack and that I'm direct, but obviously defensive side of the game needs to come into it and I need to work on that and then hopefully get a, lot, a few games in the team. Yeah, it's going to be a happy Christmas for you now, knowing you've got another year and a half here. Yeah, that, that's the main thing. Obviously, it takes the pressure off me for the end of the season, whereas I've got it now, so now I can just get my head down and get on with it. Yeah, and is there something, anything specific you're aiming for between now and the end of this season that you've got to achieve? Just just to start start a few more games. I think I've been unlucky not to start as many as I would have liked to, but as long as I'm contributing with the team and getting, getting in the team, that's the main thing. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Zach.